And just one of the things that obviously happened to a lot of businesses, you know, the idea of uh, remote working, you know, however, you know, manufacturing obviously has a different focus, you know, and particularly the, the, the manufacturing process that you guys were doing. Um, how did that affect, you know, how did that affect the business for you guys? Well, for the engineering department, there was there was obviously no hope of working remotely at all because um, you're there part of the process. Uh, even in my position, barely a day would go by when you might, you know, you wouldn't be called to a line or to a process, uh, to you know, hands on to look at to look at problems. So that can't be done from home at, at any level in the engineering department. But we did have to be very mindful of the dangers involved, and we did an awful lot of work. I mean, I we um, we installed, I think it was in the end, four or five canteens, whereas there would have been one before. You know, we got we got temporary canteens brought in, and we split locker rooms up. Uh, we we brought in temporary toilet facilities. The, the idea was the less the less, although we had to be here, the less the less you met people and were with people, the better. It's a very difficult compromise, you know, between being on a machine and trying to hands-on solve problems, and yet keep as far away from from other people as possible. It's not. I wouldn't say it was that enjoyable from that point of view because, you know, you take your lunch on your own, and yet let's be honest, you're at work 40 odd hours a week, and the social interaction is, is part of your life. And all of a sudden, that was gone. You know, it, it, just when work got difficult coming to work became more difficult put it that way you know i'd say the plant looks a lot different now than it did oh it's unrecognizable um we built timber partitions between every production line in both factories and the idea was that we would only have a, a common crew of people working together because what we had to be mindful of was um if there was a, a, a case of covid in the workforce, we knew that, that anyone around those, that person with the, with the contact tracing would have to be gone from site for a couple of weeks. And the work we were doing is so essential for the country that we couldn't take the chance of the entire workforce having to, 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 you know, to go for two weeks. Now, touch wood, we, probably because of the work that we did do, that's never happened uh, right, you know, right from the beginning. Uh, we've 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 contained it extremely well, but we have very robust procedures. We staggered start and finish times for the different production lines so that they didn't cross in the locker rooms and in the car park. Um, as I say, the factory just changed completely.